Hey guys, what's going down? <clears throat> so, I decided to completely tear down and change up my room. I got tired of a lot of things and I was starting to kind of get like where if I decided to do something, I would just run like new cables and eventually I ended up with like a fire hazard and all of these cables everywhere and wires and not knowing what this went to or what that went to or whatever so I wanted to show you guys um, what I did and some of the changes that I made and just kinda go over that and plus I have a story to tell you guys I fried my computer I was overclocking and I burnt out the CPU in one of the RAM uh, sticks I was playing around with the voltage and I was cramming it on a test bench and all of a sudden it just black screened and I went through all types of you know troubleshooting seeing if this would work or if that would work or if this was it or if that was it and come to find out the CPU is dead and the RAM one of the RAM sticks is just shot so thank God it was Black Friday but that is another video coming so let's just talk about what I did with the room and I'm going to show you all what I did real quick. Okay, so the first thing was that I did is if you all remember there used to be a whole nother section here that actually came out. You can actually see where the braces or one of the braces sat. Remember and I had a wood that came out and then I had one of these that came all the way out and then there was a, a support here and I put that DIY uh, circuit board that I made right here and everything but I took all that down okay and then up here I had like a, a vent, like a hood vent and all that. I took all of that out and decided to redo it. I'm still working on it. I kept the the carbonated filter or the car the active carbon filter. I kept that right where it was. But y'all remember those uh let's see here, uh, the UFO. Remember the switches I was telling you about? Check it out. Watch this boom now I got ample lighting and I can turn it off if I want to turn it back on that's pretty boss so what I did is I took all of that out I ripped that one part out and then I removed it down about two feet and rebuilt it up there and then I built that shelf that you guys see right there and then you remember how I had all that stuff over there well I reorganized it and redid it and put it all up here on a nice even shelf check this out I put this here it's a um, like a Molex connector right so what I did is I had a Molex going to SATA so I can test things like if I want to test something or power something that's SATA I have the means to right here and then I have another one that terminates to a fan so if I want to test a fan or something I can it's just good for uh, doing tests on stuff and then I have my voltmeter sitting there that holds my stuff and then I put my heat gun like right here see I built that little thing right there to hold my heat gun so when I'm done with it it just slides back into the holster and there it sits and of course I have my oh wait a minute hold on there we go I have my secondary heat gun which is this one right here um, I'm still working on powering the fans in the back. I gotta figure that one out. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook it up down here to a secondary switch so when I flip it, it'll power that on. And then hopefully, boom, there it goes. It'll kick that on. Now, the next thing is that I did is I went and I built this. As you can see, it's just made out of uh, what do you call it? LED lights that I built and I wired it up down here and I put it on a circ or a, what do you call it a stepper can you see it right there I put it on a stepper on a volt stepper so when every time I want to get juice out of it I can crank the juice up for it and then it but for the most part I've try to set it up to where I can build computers more and diagnose problems and stuff like that that's why I got the wiring and stuff sitting here soldering iron and helping hands quick access to the tools 
pretty much anything I need is on the wall over here. Any kind of bolts or screws or anything. I got my drill press there. Uh, that's the motor to my bicycle. I got to work on that. I got a bunch of parts coming for it. Um, I basically... Oh. Hello, Isabel. My little bunny came in here to see me. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Easy, Bell. Easy, Bell. Easy, Bell. <laughs> um, so, I got this, and I put this here. And it works good for right now holding some stuff. I've redid the wall a little bit. I fixed that up there. I put the new Mario decal on there, which is kind of cool. And I built that shelving up there to hold my books and stuff. Uh, the parts wall is still the same. It's still just, you know, a parts wall. But anyway, guys, it was uh, it's Black Friday. And I went ahead and ordered a new motherboard, a new CPU, another stick of RAM, uh, MVE, MVME M.2 SSD for the motherboard because it has an M.2 slot of course why not and then I got some really cool like heat seek ramp like look let me show you I'll check this out see I got it right here I'm just waiting for the motherboard and stuff and then I'm gonna do a, uh, a review or I'll do a Black Friday uh, talk about it but you guys right now are just kinda getting a sneak peek but as you can see I already have RGB RAM in this computer so I got a different design this time and that's the that's what this is and it's actually pretty cool Hey, I'll show it to y'all real fast see it I guess you can't see it hold on there we go yeah now you can see it so this is my uh, my new stick of Rams this is what they're going to be wearing are these it was only like 20 bucks for these oh well, a piece not for a pair but if you guys like this and like the look of them man, you guys should definitely get into them it's a lot cheaper than buying RGB RAM it just fits right over any type of DDR4 or DDR3 RAM stick and it gives you that look that you're looking for. Uh, these kind of look like Trident Z's except for it says Easy Fab or whatever on them. But I don't care about that. I'm going for the look and the look only. So it definitely adds some RGB flair to your rig. So yeah. And then I picked up this cool little nifty. Let me turn the lights back on. Check this out. This is a CPU cooler. And they said that it can handle a Ryzen 5 CPU, but it didn't say which Ryzen 5 chip it would hold. But, check this little dinky thing out. It was $11 for it. And it's just a standard type of heat sink with a fan in it, you know, like that. But the reason why I got it was one because it was 11 bucks and you can't go wrong with 11 bucks but the other reason why I got it is because check it out it looks pretty cool it's RGB check it out for, right for 11 bucks man you can't go wrong with this it kinda looks like uh, Tony Stark's heart you know what I mean the uh, the core that goes in his body y'all know what I'm talking about yeah it's what it kinda looks like but I'm going to try this. I'm going to benchmark it and I'm going to see if it can actually take a Ryzen 5 CPU. Uh, it's definitely getting cold. Like when you put your finger on that right there, it's getting cold. But, you know, 11 bucks can't go wrong with it. And then I'm going to pair it with some RAM, some RGB RAM. So as you can see, it's starting to get that look. But the coolest thing, though, by far, the coolest thing is the case itself. The case itself is, it's crazy guys, it's a reversible motherboard, alright, and you can actually physically pull the motherboard tray out of the computer, flip it around, stick it back into the computer, and now you can have everything the other way on the other side of the computer. 
The power supply can mount in the front. It comes with like 140 millimeter fans in the bottom, a 230 millimeter fan in the top, a couple of 80 or a couple of 120 millimeters on the side, a big acrylic window, uh, 10 uh, 5.25 inch bays. Uh, it's it's crazy. It's a beautiful case, and it'll be here Monday along with my motherboard and everything else. And I'll do a Black Friday video, and I'll showcase some of that for you guys. But I really just wanted to kind of show you guys some of the things that I've done in my room. Oh, one of the other things I did forget to talk about, I'm sorry, was this. Look, so when I'm sitting here, okay, and I'm trying to stream or, you know, talk to you guys, all right, I have two mics now. I have this one right here, and what it does is it can actually lower. See how it's on this hinge? It can lower down into position. And then I have this one over here, this mic right here. So I have two mics, one there and one there. So that way when I'm sitting here and I want to do editing like voiceovers and stuff, I can use this microphone. And then when I'm talking to you guys while I'm playing a game or I want to stream or something, I can use that microphone. Plus, when I just want to sit here and talk to y'all, I can use both microphones to pick up my voice because it's all channeled down into one amp and that amp is down there so both run into one amp for me and it should give me some great audio here uh, real soon but like I said I'm getting the new parts in and I'm getting a new computer in uh, you're probably wondering well Don if you blew your computer out why is your computer running well guys that's because what I had in there was a Ryzen 5 processor and I blew that one out so I had to put my Ryzen 3 processor back into it and it is currently only running on one stick of RAM the other stick of RAM is kaput I threw that in the recycling bin so when that comes guys uh, I need the space to work in you know and I was just I was too clustered in it so I think that it looks a lot nicer and neater than what it does right now or what it did you know what I mean? And I love that. Look at that. Off. On. And these are LED can lights, man. I installed these myself here. And they work beautiful. And it gives me plenty of light. And then if I want more light, I got that LED panel above it. So, yeah. Um, I'm proud of it. I'm happy with it. I think it's going to work great. My room just feels just so much more... Uh, what do you call it? It just feels so much more roomier in here. I just, I love how roomy it is. Look, my Dark Vader. See what I did? I put a gas mask and goggles on my Dark Vader. Uh, but yeah, and then I got other parts and stuff and chemicals and other things down there. and Whatever, I'm trying to get set up to where I can work on anything and do anything I need to do. So yeah, that's the room guys. This is the new... This is the new Rufus tour. I uh, hope you guys like my 2.0 update. Oh yeah, did y'all see that? Look, check it out. I took one of my old twist or uh, T virus reservoirs and I stuck it on the side here, so that way when you when you come into the room, right? Let's say you're you're just walking into my room. So when you walk into my room, this is what you see is all this craziness, right? And then if I turn off the lights, okay boom you see that see like see like that I built this window I built this wall into the window okay and then that's like the computer and my monitors and where I sit and everything and I put a fan there and I thought it would be cool to attach this here I thought this would be a nice piece you know so when you come in and you look at it that's basically what you would see and I do have LEDs, man. I have LEDs that run all out through this room. Like if you come down here, I know it's dark. Hang with me for a second. But if I flip that switch, see what it did? It turned on LEDs there. And I have a strip that runs underneath there. And then a strip that runs up in here, as you can see the glow from it. And then there's even one that runs in the back there. So I try to LED the, the crap out of the room. And as you guys can probably tell, uh, blue is my favorite.
favorite color. So yes, this is my computer room. I hope you guys think that it is awesome. I know that the bunny thinks that it's awesome. She's the tech PC bunny, right, Isabel? If she can just quit chewing on my stuff, we would be great. But I hope you guys like the update, and I will keep bringing you guys more Obama Spider-Man magazines and comics and all that other good stuff. And there's one more thing I want to show you. Check this out. Watch. Right, flip the switch, and then this right here, well, it should come on, but maybe I broke it. I probably broke it. Yeah, I broke it. All right, that's great. Never mind. Enough of that, guys. I'm out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Oh, my God. I can't believe I forgot that, man. That's like the most important thing. Okay, do you guys remember that I had this, I had this system built into it, right? Y'all remember that? It ran through here, and then it went down, and then it went, like, I had, like, a big chamber right there and then like a fan and it blew out through the back well this is what's left of it I took all of that out of the back this was supposed to move smoke and stuff away from my computers and channel it down through the tube and blow it out the window back there and it worked pretty good but I got tired of it and do you remember that I had the speakers mounted to the ceiling up here well I remounted them to the back wall there alright so that's it those are some of the changes I'll probably think of a couple more changes that I did and completely forgot to tell you guys, but maybe for another video. So, alright guys, if y'all are new, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and to my other subscribers and my viewers, I appreciate you guys, and as always, y'all be cool, and thanks for watching my channel.